DTZ Entertainment presents Coffee Bar Stories with your hosts, Dad, Son, and Bubba. Now let's get to the fun. Now it's time for your DTZ news, and here's your host, Son. Welcome back to the DTZ News, I'm your host Sun, and in today's news, today's episode will be completely all skits. And with that, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, go to our Facebook page, uh, leave a message, go to our uh, website, and send us an email. Rate us five stars on any of the podcast apps that you can. Also, don't forget to uh, tell us what you thought of the episode in, uh, on Spotify. Welcome to the Comedy Block. To start off is a new show, Let Me Help You With Your Pet, hosted by Chris Smith. Hurry and get your pet in a room to watch. Your favorite pet supplier company, Pet Crap Co., is proud to sponsor the Let Me Help You With Your Pet, hosted by Chris Smith. Welcome, I'm Chris Smith, and this is Let Me Help You With Your Pet. Today's pet is getting help is a little chihuahua named Big Killer, and Big Killer's owner, James, is with him today. Now, I'm going to give you the rundown on the dog, but first, I'm going to need James to go over into the waiting room while we get started with Big Killer. Okay, folks, Big Killer's owner has brought him to me because he's become very aggressive with people and even the owner. So I'm going to go over to Big Killer and see for myself how aggressive and fierce he is. That way, I will be able to come up with a solid training program. My goal is to keep it simple for Big Killer's owner to be able to keep up with him. So let's head over to our training area where Big Killer is at now. This training facility is state-of-the-art. See, we devoted a three-tier system to this. To get the pet to listen, obey, and even respect you. I have gotten more pets and owner's problem resolved than any other person in this biz. We have boasted a 88% success rate, unlike no others. So let's see what we're working with. He looks to be 10 inches long, 8 inches tall, and maybe weighs, what, a good 12, 13 pounds. Alright, I don't want to sound too confident, but I'm figuring this is only a one-time session. I should have him straightened out and the owner on board. Alright, my strong hand and approach will do the trick. Okay, here I go, and... Ah! Oh! Uh, oh folks, uh, oh shit, I think I need to go to the hospital. This is bad, this is bad. Hey Tim, Tim, can you hand me my testicle? Yeah, from over there, yeah, by the table, that's it. Thanks man, uh, yeah, just drop it in the sandwich bag. Oh. Well folks, hey, Chris, Chris, where are you going with that pistol? Wait, wait, big killer. Screw that dog, man. Oh, that bastard. James, screw you too. Man, that's messed up. That poor dog, he may have been small in size, but had a huge fighting spirit. I don't know what else to say, but Chris is an asshole, and that's all the time we have. You've been listening to Let Me Help You With Your Pet, and be sure to tune in next time.
Do you love the Big John Chocolate Bar, the Scrumptious Dew Drop, the Crotch Gobblers, and our top seller ass gobblers? Now with all that outstanding candy goodness, Dirt and Grime Candy Company is now introducing the candy that will go down in history. The Crunchy Nutsack Chocolate Bar. That's right, the chocolate bar the world's been waiting for is here. The Crunchy Nutsack Chocolate Bar is made from high quality nutsack that are harvested from the best places in the world. All nutsack is used in the chocolate bar are triple inspected for highest quality. Not only is this candy bar the best, it comes with the Dirt and Grime Candy Company totally guaranteed. I promise this candy is so good, it will be flying off the shelf. So don't be the only person without a crunchy nut sack in your mouth. Run out and get yours now. Ouch, someone needs to be more careful. Now, up next, Sloan Creek happenings around town. Welcome to my new show. I'm your host, Clyde Jarvis, and this is Sloan Creek's Happenings Around Town. This show will take you to places all over town, and you'll get to meet all the awesome people. For our first episode, we're going to our very first gas station in Sloan Creek, and we will meet Rob there at Good Damn Gas. Let's head on over. Here we are at Good Damn Gas with owner Rob. Welcome, Rob, to Happenings Around Town. It's an honor to be the first on your show. Clyde Jarvis, I watched your other show. You know that? I did. I watched it. Every episode. That is, until it got canceled. I appreciate that. It was an alright show, but now it's time for our interview. So Rob, how long has the gas station been here? Well, my gramps opened this gas station in 1972. It started out with selling gas and oil. But after a while, that wasn't bringing in enough. So gramps cleaned out the back storage room got a mattress from the alley, put it on that floor over there, then he started pimping Grandma's sweet ass out. Oh, wow. Okay, that's a powerful story. Go on. <laughs> well, then after Grandma sixed the rest for prostitution, Gramps was then forced to figure out how to make more money. He came up with the motto, sell gas, oil, snacks, and smokes. That did help, though, and Grandma could start cutting back, too. It's a good thing, because it was putting a real strain on Grandma's back. Sorry for her back problems, but at 96 years of age, she still pulls a trick or two. That's amazing. What are you, touched in the head or something? That old bag's been rode hard and put away wet too many times. No elasticity left. Grandma just an old out warm bag of bones, but still give great gum jobs. Okay, I don't know what to say about that. I guess we'll call. Say, Clyde. Grandma say you could have a gum job on the house after this. Boy, aren't you one lucky guy she don't gum anyone for free. You should feel special. Real special. Oh, uh, <laughs> well, look at there. We're out of time. Thank God. This is Clyde Jarvis with Sloan Creek. Happenings around town. Check in next week. Look awfully tired. Not getting enough sleep. Well, that could be a mattress problem. <sighs> See, I used to be tired all day. I tried pills, that didn't work. Oh, tried therapy, that didn't work. Even tried acupuncture, that didn't work. It just hurt. It hurt a lot. I got so desperate, I decided to change my mattress. <sighs> I went all over town looking for the right mattress, just couldn't find a new mattress that worked for me. See, I was about to give up when I seen a mattress shop just outside of town. This place is where I found my salvation. The perfect mattresses. Where did I find my salvation? 
no other than Cletus's slightly used mattresses. The place is a godsend, I'll tell ya. My mattress was rescued from an old dilapidated mansion. Cletus has the best mattresses recovered in the biz. Their mattresses hardly ever have bed bugs or mold and minimal stains. They are washed with recycled water and cleaner. See, the environment is very important to Cletus. Their motto is every mattress deserves a second chance. Besides, with your own sheets on the mattresses, you won't even think about the faded urine and shit stains. Also, Cletus has a no way in hell return policy. Now head on out to Cletus's slightly used mattresses, located on Route 69, just outside of Sloan Creek. I'm telling you, don't wait, go now. Disclaimer, Cletus doesn't always get mattresses out of dumpsters or back alley trash picks. He also does pickups on old and shitty mattresses. See you there. I'm not touching that. So it now it's time for everyone's favorite show, The Scammix. Bob and Peter Scammix now have to deal with the flood cars on their lot. They need to hurry before they go bankrupt. Let's join them in Peter's office. Well, Bob, Humphrey screwed us good with those cars. How are we gonna get our money back from this? We're gonna need some help, but I mean, who? Eh, good question. It's gotta be someone we trust and know well. Bob Scammick to the financial office, please. Bob Scammick to the financial office. We have a visitor waiting. I bet that's Repo Rick here for his payment. I'll be right back. Okay, I'll be trying to get something going with those flood cars. There's the man, Repo Rick. How you doing, buddy? Hey, Bob, I got that Corvette for you. You want to step outside to inspect it? Peter's gaming to the drop-off area. Peter's gaming to the drop-off area. Hey, guys. What's up, Repo Rick? Looks like we got a Corvette back. Yeah, we're all right. That's why we use Repo Rick. He always gets the job done. Say, Peter, you think Repo here can help us with our problem? Bob, Peter, come on now. Me and Trevor would love to help. What's the problem? See, we started a used car department, and our first delivery of cars ended up being flood cars and derelicts. We need to recoup our money, along with getting rid of these shit cars. Yeah, Repo, any advice or help would be greatly appreciated. Well, guys, let's check out these guys and see what I'm working with. Great, let's get over to the used car area. Here, it's this way. See, Repo, some of these cars look good, but missing things like Cadillac converters, drive shafts. Some have no engines or non-running engines. We're set to take a huge loss. We got to get some type of money back. You got any ideas? Well, guys, it looks like we're going to have to determine what cars may half-ass run and the ones that are complete shit. We will try to sell what we can, scrap some parts out some, and then dupe the stupid. Maybe then we'll have less of the losses. Fuck, Repo, let's get scammicking. Well, folks, Bob and Peter look to have some help now. But can Repo Rick really help? Tune in next time to find out. This has been The Scammics. Hey honey, do you got that nostrils fresh feel? Or have a lingering smell you and I can do without? Why do I ask, you say? Because one of the guys at the bar was talking about his wife not so fresh feeling. He then explained she bought a bottle of worn out crotch refresher. Now, she walks around with a bounce in her step also has been in a better mood nowadays. Don't give me that look. We both know you have your times. 
So, Worn Out Crotch Refresher has so many positive reviews. We pulled one review from a heavily used prostitute. She wrote, Years of heavy pounding has taken a toll on my crotch. Business has dropped off quite a bit. Money was getting tight and rent was not being paid. So one of my loyal clients suggested worn out crotch refresher. I gave it a try and now I got more business than I can straddle. So, see honey, you should give that worn out crotch refresher a try. Besides, it's a product of Sloan Corp Pharmaceuticals, the most trusted company in the world. You're welcome, honey. There's nothing I won't do for your crotch. If you experience discomfort after application, you are not using our product. Shame on you, and that's what you get for not using our product that's made by Sloan Corp Pharmaceuticals. Long court. Okay. Well, it looks like the Scamics just dragged Repo Rick into their problems. Okay, we'll conclude that today. This has been DTZ Podcast Network's Comedy Block. Oh, time for two dad jokes. Why can't your hand be 12 inches long? Because then it'd be a foot. (laughs) What did the left eye say to the right? Something smells between us. (laughs) Here's your Channel 7 News with your anchors, Brett Hungwell and Crew Mott. Welcome to your Midday News. I'm Crew, and here's my co-anchor, Brett Hungwell, with breaking news. Thanks, Crew. Now, the breaking news. There's been a standoff at the Sloan Creek Mall. A five-year-old girl is holding a Cabbage Patch doll hostage inside the KB Toy Store. The SWAT team is on the scene. They have the demand from the girl. She wants a Tickle Me Elmo, or else. Oh man, Brett, that SWAT team better play this with extreme caution, or there'll be doll stuffing everywhere. This looks to be an intense situation. We'll check in with this story later. Now, the wait is over. This weekend, the pop group that's been burning up the charts. Dudes that's nuts haven't dropped yet. Or the D-T-N-H-D-Y singing group has added a midday show Saturday. Tickets are on sale now cheap. Now, you know, Brett, that was awful nice of them to do for their fans. Yeah, yeah, crew, that's great and all. Just hold on a second. Said I'm buying 100 tickets for the midday show. Yeah, 100. 100 tickets. Good. You better. Shit, yeah. I'll triple my money scalp in these tickets. <laughs> Well, good luck with that, Brett. Up now on Channel 7 Midday News is Jerry Jerry's show and the people you should know. Are you saying... Seems no one hears you. Pills don't work. Well then, turn that frown upside down. I have good news. All you need is to talk to our therapist. But not any therapist. You want the best. So come on down to Dr. Listen's office and one of our board certified therapists will see you right then and there. No waiting. Get to healing without drug dealing. Dr. Listen's office is located in Sloan Creek Mall next to Spencer's. Welcome back to Channel 7's Midday News. Up now, the Jerry Jerry Show. (laughs) 
Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Kane, the Jerry, Jerry Show, and people you should know. Today we're here in Slow Creek Mall at the law office of Yes, We Are Winners Law Firm. And with me here is the top lawyer, Black Windsor. This litigator is 969 for 969 in cases won. He is unstoppable. So let's meet Black Windsor, people you should know. Yes, it's great to be here with you, Jerry. Looking forward to the interview. Like the law firm, Jerry, you're a winner too. Thanks for the compliment. So Blake, let's start with how many honors and awards do you have? Well, let's see. The first two years I won the Lawyer of the Year and Most Handsome Litigator. Then, year three to present, I've won the very best litigator in the biz and the sexiest lawyer. That's quite the accomplishment. What are you set to win this year? I am up for the badass fucking awesome lawyer of the century award and the best lawyer in the sack. This stud is unstoppable. Between hot hose and big courtroom wins, I am the definition of excellence. Wow, I am at loss of four words. You truly are excellence. I'm not worthy to be in your presence. Ha, ha, ha. Jerry, Jerry, look me in the eyes. You are right. You are not worthy to be in my presence. But the great human being that I am, I'll overlook it. Besides, maybe a little bit of my greatness will rub off on you, like the shit off the bottom of my shoe. Oh, look at me. I'm lushing. Whoop! I have a beat a little. Damn it, Blake. You're a man's man. Fuck, this is unreal. I may shit myself. Oh, Blake. Oh, Blake. There, there. It's okay, Jerry. Everyone is intimidated by my greatness. Here's my final thought. Blake is excellence with more awards than any lawyer. For Christ's sake, Blake Windsor makes me want to commit crimes so he can resent... For Christ's sake, Blake Windsor makes me want to commit crimes so he can represent me. So I say this. Yes, we are winners. Law Firm is the perfect name and place for the great Black Windsor to be. Thank you. Ha! Winners, pose! This was the Jerry Jerry Show and People You Should Know. Now back to Channel 7 Newsroom. What a schmuck. Hey man, I just found out, dude. My girlfriend's cheating on me. What do oh, I do about that? Dude, that sucks. What are you gonna do? I don't know, man. Are you tired of her shit? Or are you done with his laziness? Well, then we are the lawyers for you. We don't lose, we only win. So with Yes We're Winners Law Firm, the only loser is your spouse. Okay, now with a record of all wins, let our completely satisfied clients tell you for themselves. I walked in into my house to my wife talking on the phone to her mom saying she was going to divorce me. So I did it first with Yes We're Winners. I won and got everything from the house to the car to the kids. Hi, I'm Ted. Co-worker let me in on the cheating wife, so he told me to go right away down to, yes, we are winners all firm, to hire them right away. I did what he said and have a change with my smile since. Thank you, yes, we are winners all firm. So get this, man. I went inside my house and found my wife doing it with the mailman. So instead of getting upset, I went to Yes We're Winners Law Firm and I divorced her and I got it all. I got the house, the yacht, got the whole new house. But you know what I did get? The credit card bills. Thank you, Yes We're Winners. I'm lazy, stupid, good for nothing, and I don't have to change a thing. I got Yes We're Winners Law Firm first, and now she's paying me. I love them guys. She keeps me in the manner I feel I should be kept in. 
Xbox on the right, PlayStation on the left, and a beer in the middle. Thank you, Yes for Winners Law Firm. Without you, I'd have to work. Thank you for listening. We hope you guys had a really good time. Catch us next time. This has been Dad. This is Son. And this is Bubba. You've been listening to the Coffee Bar Stories. Catch us next time in the same coffee bar time, same coffee bar channel. Oh, hey, you're still here? Cool. Well, you might as well uh, hit that follow button and uh, maybe rate us, I don't know, five stars or something on Spotify and leave some comments and don't forget to subscribe. See ya. (laughs) 